Okay. Ooh. Okay, all right. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. What's popping, you guys? Okay, so today I wanted to do another tarot reading. You guys have been asking for them and I've been wanting to do them. I just, you know, I, I don't know, girl, I just keep forgetting and so here we are. Um, so this is going to be messages from your spirit guide. I'm so sorry that it's a little wobbly, but girls, bear with me, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm trying my best. Um, but these are going to be messages from your spirit guides, things that your spirit guides really want to make known to you guys, or they want you to be aware of, or, you know, you know, know about or whatever. It's just, it's, it's urgent messages from them. So like, they just really want to get in contact with you. And if this popped up in your, um, recommended, that's because they, they want to get in contact with you. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, so here we have our four pick a cards. Okay. So just pick the one that resonates with you. The one that you just really feel drawn to. Um, we have the tower, the queen of beasts, king of Colts, and the 10 of Colts. Um, so yeah, just pick the one that you feel drawn to and we'll get started with your reading. All right. Just pick the one. Okay, so if you pick the tower, um, high pile number one, this is your card, this is your reading. Um, uh, so the tower tends to talk about um, like trials and tribulations, kind of like, you know, problems within oneself and um, just like situations. Like it, it's, 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 a, it's something that you need to kind of sort of like get over, right? that's pretty much what the tower it like talks about as you can see there's you know there's eyes all over the thing like it like it's protected in a way um it just it feels like it's hard to get through to for some reason um it almost feels like one of the things that it sounds stoops but like i feel like one of the things that is popping up is just like how am i supposed to do it like there's nothing to hold on to there's like nothing to grip onto. um like we have like wounds and eyes and stuff and spikes and whatnot, but like, I don't want to touch those things to try and get to the top or to try and even escape the tower. Like, I don't want to have to touch any of that. I don't want to have to go through any of that. Um, and it's, but it's like one of those things where it's like, you kind of have to, cause like it's all, it's on fire girl. Like you have to leave, but it's like, but I don't want to, like, I don't want to touch the eyeballs. Like that's so nasty. Um, it kind of feels like you just don't, you, you're just afraid of coming in contact with any of your demons, girl. Um, at least that's what if, what I'm feeling from the card. Obviously, the card doesn't have to resonate for the reading to resonate, but that's just what I'm getting from the card. Okay, so let's get into your tarot. So let's get into your Miss Tarot so we can understand what's popping, what's going on, see what it is that your spirit guides wish to uh, mention to you and what they wish to tell you and, you know, keep you in the know on or whatever. Okay, so here we have my regular tarot deck, my one and only, my one and true love. Um, she's my old faithful. Okay, so spirit guides, pile one spirit guides, please come through to the cards and give your your peeps what they what they need to hear. Please tell pile one what it is that they need to hear, what it is. Uh, any advice, uh, read them to filth type shit, um, help me get to them and get you their message. You know what I mean? Like I need, I need to know what the message is for pile one. Um, what messages do we have for pile one? Let's see. Let's see where you are at currently. I need to know. I need to know what is currently bugging pile one. What is currently bothering pile one okay please any messages from the spirit guide i need to know what is currently on what's currently going on with pile one okay let's see where you are at. let's see pile one all right oh okay oh no okay let's see second card oh we got the hanged man upside down girl Okay, let's see. We're gonna take out four on the top and four on the bottom, girl. Okay, we got this one, all right. I 
people are like, she doesn't know how to read cards. She's not saying what they are. No, I know how to read cards, girl. It's just I'm, I'm getting the cards out first before I... And then this one just wanted to pop out. Okay, so let's see. So we have the Five of Cups. We have the Hanged Man upside down. We have the Six of Cups. And we also have the High Priestess. So um, I have a feeling... Um, I'm obviously going to clarify the cards. But I do have a feeling like... <sighs> I feel, at least currently, you are very stuck stupid on like a, what could have been, um, and it almost feels like you don't necessarily have a sense of awareness of realizing that it is not... Like, I feel I feel like you're really holding on to something that happened in the past. Like, really, really holding on to it. And you're, you know, you're, you're sad over it. Like, you're looking at, like, the spilled, you know, like, like the possibility, I guess. But what you don't realize is that there's cups behind you that are still very much alive and well and that are still willing to, you know, go after you. It kind of feels like, you know, you kind of need to go through this, like, situ like the situation of re like, like coming to terms with it. I feel like you need to come to terms with the fact that this is over. Like, I feel like you're not really fully come to terms with it. Um you're still feeling like you're upright, but in reality, you're upside down, girl. Like, you're you're the hanged man, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have the, the knowance that you think you do about the situation. The situation is over. It, it, there's nothing more there for you. I, I feel like you're neglecting that. Like, I feel like there's a part of you that knows. Like, I feel like you have a, an understanding that it's over, but you just don't want to accept it. You just don't want to accept that it's over. Um... Which is making it harder for other opportunities to come into your into your field of vision. I just I feel like you're stuck stupid on this. But let, let, let me let me let, let's let's clarify. Let's clarify the five of cups for pile one, please. Yeah, baby, it's over. <laughs> There's no more, baby. It's over. There's no more love there. Um. I don't know if it's the divine feminine or the divine masculine watching this and sadly tarot is not non-binary um in the way that they do their you know the in the speak if you will in like the lingo but um it kind of i'm i feel like there's a divine masculine watching and also divine feminine like it could be anyone but it definitely does feel like the like the stereotypical masculine, you know, uh, person in this relationship, I feel like they're just not fully over the relationship. I feel like they still want something in the relationship, but I feel like with the queen of cups here upside down, it's, it's very clear that the queen does not want this to continue or it's not continuing and they just haven't moved on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not accepting that card. Uh, let's see. The Hanged Man. I want to get a clarifier for the Hanged Man. Oh, okay. All right. So you're feeling a bit vulnerable. <laughs> you're feeling pretty vulnerable. I feel like you, again, you just don't want to accept your situation. You just don't want to accept where it is that you've landed. It's just, I feel like a sense of like, like a, like a staggering, like, 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 like you're, you're stuttering. Like, it's almost like, I don't know, like you're just dragging it on. Like there's no need for it to be dragged on this long. Like, it just feels like you're just holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. Um, let's see the six of cups, please. May I please get a clarifier? Okay. We have the 10 of sticks of wands sorry um yeah it just i mean you're carrying your baggage with you into your next relationship like i feel like like if you don't get past this you're just gonna 
It's like a rebound. You're rebounding. I feel like you're rebounding onto a different person, but I don't feel like there's any love in it. Like, it doesn't feel like it, it's genuine. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's no genuine attraction, I feel like, that you have towards the person that you're currently going towards to try and get your mind off of this. And that's not smart. You're, you're not supposed to put your baggage onto another person because you can't get over something. Like, that's not, that's not fucking right to do, my guy. Um, let's put the, let's, uh, let's fucking clarify the high priestess, please. Oh, okay. I feel like she wants to be upright, so we're going to have her upright. I, okay. Yeah, girl. You, you need to come to terms with the fact that that past relationship is completely the fuck over. You need to come to terms with the fact that this is over. This is done. There's nothing more you can do about it. There's not like, I don't like you. I feel like you feel like you can progress through life without dealing with the situation and with the problem that came from this. And it's just, that's just not possible. Um, you need to find a balance within yourself to be able to be happy. You know what I mean? Like you just, you're not happy with yourself. That's the problem. You, you want a significant other to fulfill that happiness for you and you are keeping open in the sense of like you want people to come towards you I feel like but it's like you want people to come towards you but there's no like there's nothing you can offer them you understand what I'm saying like it's not like your partners want like money or anything like that but like you can't even offer them like mental stability my guy like you're not there you know what I mean like you're just not there you're you're broken my dude like you you don't want to deal with your with your past hardships like I feel like maybe you need to I feel like it could also be that you ended it badly and you don't want to accept that fact Maybe you fucked up and it's eating you alive and you don't want to accept it. And you think you can just continue on with your life being happy and whatnot, but you're still carrying the luggage from this. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that maybe you fucked up in this, which sounds bad to say, like it sounds mean to say, but... It just doesn't feel, let me see, what's the back of the deck? Yeah, dude, like you're, you're not fruitful right now. And I think it's because you haven't, you haven't like come to terms with it. Like you just, you're still, like you need to come to terms with it to, you know, reach happiness and fulfillment and stuff. But like, you just aren't there yet because you haven't. I, I don't know if I want to say what I want to say. Let me see. Am I right? <clears throat> yeah, dude. You're still trying to like... I feel like you're still trying to build. But what you but what you don't understand is that you don't have any coins to build right now. Like you don't have any of that like general fulfillment to be able to even build up a relationship right now. Or, or anything right now. Like you, you just... You... You need to come to terms with yourself and you need to find general fulfillment within you. Um, and I feel like you don't have that. I feel like you feel very lost within yourself and you don't really know where it is that you stand in things. And so you just kind of feel lost. I feel like you just feel very lost right now. Very depressed, very lost. You want another person's companionship, but what you don't understand is that that's not what you need right now. But you really do want it, but it's just, it's not what you need. Like, there's like no... You know what I mean? Like... Another person isn't going to fix what you have with yourself. You know what I mean? Like, it really is on some RuPaul shit. Like, it's just like, how the fuck? How do you expect someone to love you if you don't even fucking love yourself? Like, 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 it just doesn't make any sense, babes. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you're like hoping for something that's just not going to happen. Um, 
and that's fine but it, it but it's just you you are you are wasting your energy on it's not even manifest you're just wasting your energy on on things that you shouldn't be wasting them on right now like you should really be focusing on you i feel like i feel like you should be focusing on yourself but let's let's see what the what the guides have to say through my channeling cards like what advice what messages what do you need to tell um what do you need to tell pile one what does pile one need to know what advice do you have for pile one what do they need to know please tell them please give them advice oh we fucked up we fucked up i feel like this one wants to be put out too i'm sorry for what i did to you oh my god someone someone fucks someone over um or honestly i could have been an equal fucking of each other um because we do have a high priestess and i do see the black and white you know what i mean like it could be that both of you guys did fuck each other up um i feel like if it, i feel like it was a breakup that was very one-sided but both parties did things for said breakup to be able to happen um like i feel like one of you didn't want to leave um I'm drowning. Yeah, see, there's like, you see what I mean? Like, you guys are like drowning in the emotions of what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, you're, you're trying so hard to come back to shore, but it's like, baby, like, you're not ready for that. Like, I feel like you're not ready. Go to the forest. Fucking go to the forest, girl. Go be one with nature. Like, it's really telling you to be on your own, to really, like, think deep you know like you really have to think deep as to like what could be the problem wish you were here there's ugh, i'm getting i'm getting a one-sided breakup from this and i don't know i feel like the person that's watching is the one that got broken up with um and i feel like you need to hear from from this and from me and from your guides babe I know you didn't want it to happen, but it happened and now you just have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know it sounds fucked up to say. And, like, I feel like you're trying really hard to, like, not one up. It's not, that's not the word. I feel like you're trying really hard to, like, move past it, you know? In the sense, but, like, in a very um, shallow way. Like, you're not actually moving past it. Like, you're not actually doing the work to be able to move past it. You're just doing, like, shallow things to move. Like, you're going to the club. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing things that don't really add to your journey. And that's not saying that going to the club doesn't add to your journey, but it's just, like, I feel like it's coming from a, from a point of view of, like, sticking it to the man. You know what I mean? Like, like, fuck that person. Fuck, fuck whoever the fuck broke my heart. I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do this. And it's, like, that's fine but like it's not it's not helping you in getting over the breakup you know what I mean like it's not helping you in growing past the breakup um it's it, it I feel like you just need to be with you and like do things that make you happy and like build on your career and on your life and on your happiness and like not care about what it is that your past person has to say um, and it could be romantic, it could be family, it could be anyone, but I just feel like you're really, you, you really want to like, sh like show up and show out when what you should be doing. Yeah, babe. Like, no, babe, it's over. Hun. You, you, you have to, you have to be okay with the fact that it's over. Um, and I feel like you're not okay with that yet. I feel like you're not at terms with that yet. Um, let me get some letters for you. I want to see if maybe I could get some insight as to who maybe this person is and who it is maybe you need to get over currently. Um, but I just, I feel like you are just not getting over it and you don't want to get over it. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's a sense there of like, you just don't want to yet. Okay. Give me some letters, please. I want two letters having to do with either the first or last name of this connection. We got K. Okay, K got flipped for me. So we have K. K for key. Um, I feel like the key to this is to end this shit. To, like, end it for you internally. Um, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Okay, let me get another letter for you. 
Another letter, please, for pile one. May I please have another letter for pile one? May I please have another letter for pile one? Who is this person that they need to get over? We got T for Tiger. So K and T, girl, okay? So I don't know who that could be. Only you do. Um, only you know the symbolism of these. Um, but yeah, girl. A cutie. KT? I don't know. Uh, Katie? Ooh, Katie? I'm getting Katie. Ooh. Um, Tina? Kendra? I don't know why I'm getting all of those, like, weird names. I say weird in the sense of, like, white girl. I don't know why I'm getting a bunch of white names. Um, I am getting Tony. Um, Keon. I'm getting Keon. Um, Quincy. Tyler. I got Margaret, which is really weird. I don't know why I got Margaret, but that one popped up too. Um, but those are the names that I'm getting from those letters. Um, it just kind of feels like the key is to become the tiger girl. Like you, you have to become one with you. You need to become comfortable with yourself. I don't know. Okay. Now I would like some word association. I just want to know if maybe there's some word association with this. Um, I, these are new. That's fun. You know, um, I want to get, uh, a blue card currently please I need a blue card with a word association for them we got the and two okay girl go to the forest okay I feel like you need to go to the forest girl and go meet a tiger you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I mean um go to the forest babes uh let's see let's purple letters or purple cards house go to the house you need to go to a house i don't know okay let's see one more one more purple purple car oh maybe there's like a problem with assets oh my god did they strip you away from everything girl is that why you're stuck stupid that they strip you away from everything if do you not have somewhere to live? I'm getting a feeling of this person was brutal or you're brutal. Someone took everything in this fucking relationship divorce thing. I feel like someone took everything and that's why it's hard for you to move on because they took everything everything from you you got house car take the fucking car to the house girl get your ass over there i don't know fight someone call a lawyer i don't know this feels very i don't know only you would know but I don't know. This this feels like some girl. This feels like some. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Now let's do our last cards. These are gonna be um, the last messages from your guides. Um, I just want to know if they're. I don't know you, and you don't know me. Okay. Let's get some more little baby cards for pile one. A couple more message slash advice cards for pile one, please. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh my god. Girl, stop. Okay. I love you on some gay shit. I hear you in music. I feel sorry for what I did to you. I'm drowning. We got I'm drowning twice now. Um someone definitely fucked someone over. We got your pretty. Let's get freaky. Maybe, oh, and then look, there's like leopard right there and leopard right there. Maybe someone has a cat. 
maybe someone took someone's cat. This is starting to feel a little bit, you know, <laughs> pinpointed, but it does feel like two peas in a pod and I miss you. This definitely does feel like it was a one-sided breakup. It, it feels like one person really did not want to let go of this connection and the other person did. And when they did, I don't know if... I feel like the person that got broken up with took everything to shit. Like, I feel like they didn't take things lightly. Um, and then obviously the, the, the break E, the one that broke the heart, I feel like they didn't expect that at the same time. Um, yeah, it just honestly feels like that person didn't want this to end and they still have like not feelings but I don't know I, f I feel like there's like a, a sense of remorse there like it's just they are not happy with the fact that it's over not to say that they wanted it to continue I don't think they wanted it to continue but they just don't like that it's over Yeah, they just don't like that it's over. That's literally it. That's what that's what the guides are telling me, is that they just don't like that it's over. They don't know how to deal with the fact that it's over. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe you, your guys' lives were very, like, intertwined as we got two peas in a pod. So maybe you guys, like, shared a house and a car, or you guys, like, shared resources with each other, and that's what's making it even more difficult for you guys to, like, kind of separate it, you know, because there's just so much tying you two together. Um... This card makes me uncomfortable in this situation because I feel like this doesn't, like, it applies. Like, I feel like the person thinks this way, but I don't feel like they should think that way. I feel like this is a problem. Like, this feels like it's a, like, this doesn't feel wholesome, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, it just... It doesn't feel right to me. Um, yeah, I just feel like you need to get over this. And I feel like you're the one that got dumped on. And I feel like you're the one that took everything. Um, but I feel like you just need to fucking move on. Like, like, there's, like, a really big sense of, like, I need you to move the fuck on. Like, you just need to move on. Like, just because you still have those feelings doesn't mean that the other person does. Like, they clearly do not reciprocate those emotions as we got the fucking Queen of Cups upside down. Like, clearly, they don't reciprocate those emotions. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't want this. And you're not gaining anything from holding on to it either. So, it's like, you just gotta let go, my guy. I feel like you need to let go. I feel like that's what the guides want you to do. They just want you to let go of the situation. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Just let go of it. Like, literally just let go of it. Um, that's really all I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting, like, a, a hint of depression in here as well from all the blue and all the crying and, you know like general emotion like I'm getting a lot of emotion in this but y'all just need to move on like whoever the person is whether it's the one that got dumped or the one that that did the dumping you need to move on like someone needs to both of y'all need to move on someone needs to move on you need to move on <laughs> the person that's watching this needs to move on pile one you gotta move on um and that's what makes it so hard for you is because you just don't want to or it's just really difficult because of the situations that you are in currently. Um, and that makes sense. I mean, it would be hard to like get rid of a tower moment if there's so much intertwining you two. But your guides just don't want this to continue. I feel like it would be healthy for you for you to not let this continue. But yeah. All right. That's it for you, Miss Pile One. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope it resonated with you. If not, you can always check out the other piles. And yeah, all right. I love you guys.
Hello, pile two. You got the queen of beasts. Um, kind of looks like a little booty hole, but it's okay. It's funny. Um, let's see. So you got um, the queen of wands. So this is the queen of wands in this deck. Um, I feel like you're handling your shit. It kind of feels like you are... It, it feels like pile two has kind of like a... a a power to them. I feel like there's like a, a sense of like power and like almost like you can not necessarily get what you want, but it's just like you have a good team. I don't know. You have a really good sense of like team. I don't know. There is definitely a lot of power in you. Um, I definitely do feel like a sense of like sexy, like maybe you're very well endowed, you know, in aspects of yourself. Um, Maybe you just have a really good, like, head on your shoulders type shit. But, I don't know. I just sense a lot of power from you. I feel like you're very powerful. Um, let's see. Okay, I want to know what you guys are currently going through. So, we're going to do that. I guess we'll keep her up there for now. Um, so, I want to know what it is that you guys are currently going through. Um, for your spirit guides to be able to help me kind of get an idea of what it is that we need to you know, what, what, what the message is. Well, what is our message for you? Um, so let's see. May I please get a general understanding of pile two? May I please know what's going on with pile two? What's currently going on with pile two? Please give me cards in regards to Miss Pile two. I want to know what's going on with pile two. What's currently going on with pile two? Currently going on with pile two. One more shot. What is currently going on with, oh, you guys got the high priestess upside down. Okay. What's currently going on with pile two? What is currently going on with pile two? What is currently going on with Miss Pile two? Temperance. Oh my God, you guys are getting them upside down. Okay, what's going on with pile two? We got the queen of wands. Queen of wands is there as well. Oh my god, I think I know what's going on. Oh, baby. We also have this one as your fourth card. Yeah, babe, I think I know what's going on with you. Um, I'm not, I don't even have to clarify right now because I feel like I know what's going on. You don't have a good sense of who the fuck you are. Um, you are the baddest bitch in town and you truly believe you're not uh you don't think you're the bad bitch you don't think you're the bad bitch like not even a little bit like you don't have a good sense of self at all at all which i find very sad girl because you're hot and, like, I feel comfortable saying that. Like, you're hot. Like, you're smoking hot. Like, it's coming out of my mouth so easily because you're so smoking hot. Like, you're fucking hot. And I feel like you think you're not. And that's really weird. Is it because... Do you feel like, I don't know why I want to say it like this because it feels so pretentious saying it like this, but do you not feel like intelligently adequate, babe? 
you don't feel intelligently adequate. And I feel like someone said it like that to you. In a very ugly, dehumanizing way. And I feel like if... It was like... It was someone you definitely looked up to. I don't know if it was a mother figure or a teacher or a like superior of some kind, maybe if they got a job or something, but someone called you intelligently inadequate. Like they essentially called you stupid. And so for some reason that makes you feel like you're not attractive to any capacity now. It's almost like you don't, it's not that you don't want to be the hot one, but you hate that that's your, your shtick now. You don't want that to be your shtick. Um, may I please get a clarifier for the high priestess? Yeah. It was a man. Fucking men, dude. Or it was just someone of power. It was someone that had a higher superiority to you. But they were also fucking... They're also fucking insecure little bitches. So I don't know why the fuck they're even fucking speaking. Um, temperance. May I please get a clarifier for temperance? It really feels like someone felt threatened by you. Like, they felt threatened, and so they felt like they needed to put you down to their level, which is so fucked up, because they're... Like, it's not my fault that you're a fucking little pussy little pleb bitch, you know what I mean? Like, peace and love, but, like, it feels like someone really destroyed your sense of self to try and make themselves feel better because they're fucking little piss baby bitches, you know? Ugh. Babe, don't listen to them. Don't listen to that. What? No. I, I Not on my watch. You are not listening to this fucking piece of shit. Not on my fucking watch, bitch. No. No. Absolutely the fuck not. Ugh. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> Let me clarify temperance, please. Can I please clarify temp Ooh, God. The spirits are doing too much. We'll do that one since that one's up. Since that one is up. And this one was on my foot, but I don't really feel like it applies, but we'll still put it there just in case, because it feels wrong to put it back in the deck. Um, yeah, you don't have, like, a good sense of self right now. Um, you are doing very well financially, and I feel like you're doing very well, like, I don't know. I feel like you're doing really well when it comes to, like, other aspects of yourself. But when it comes to your own self-image, I feel like it's still very warped for yourself. Um, you're really, really good at, like, giving. And I don't even want to say receiving. Fuck. That feels fucked. Um, you give, you give, and you give, and you don't get back. And it just, it feels like that's happening because you don't realize your own power yet. Like, you don't realize your own, you know, yet. Like, you don't know how, uh, you are. Like, you don't realize that yet. And I feel like it's making it difficult for your relationships or for, you know, your commitment ships or partnerships even like it, it like you're your growth or like it's stopping you from something I don't uh queen of wands give me a uh, clarifier for the queen of wands please yeah, babe, you're just, you're, what's funny is that it really is, like, 
I feel like this is a battle between like what you know and what you hear. Like it's like you know within yourself that you should not be sad about this and you should not let this affect you or like damage you in any way. But yet it's still happening. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, with like, you know, for a fucking fact that you're this bitch, like, you know that for a fact, but yet for some reason, this fuckhead still fucked with you for some reason, like someone fucked with you for some reason. And you're just kind of letting it happen. And I feel bad for saying that, but it feels like you're just kind of letting it happen. Like you're just, you're letting the situation Thank you very much, Car. You're letting the situation affect you, your inner you. Like, 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 or like your outer you, if that makes sense. Because, like, you yourself know that this person's a fucking idiot. But for some reason, you're still letting it have, like, a control over you. Like, you don't know how to balance the crazy. Like, you don't know how to balance this person that's talking. Like, like, even though you know for a fact what they're saying is not real, you still don't have that power within you to not let it affect you. Even though you know it's not real, you don't know how to not let it affect you. Like, it's almost like, 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 to put it into, like, really dumb layman's terms, it kind of feels like you learned that dragons aren't real and you know for a fact dragons aren't real and you've never seen a dragon in your life and you know that they're not real and you know that they don't exist but for some fucking reason you still have an undenying fear of them like an undenying like oh like it's a real thing you know like you're just letting that affect you somehow but it's not like it's not like affecting you mentally I feel like it's affecting you outwardly like it's a like it's affecting maybe like the way you dress or the way that you you know present yourself around people or it's like like it's affecting something outside of yourself like it's not really affecting your your mental I feel like I feel like it's just affecting something outside of yourself like maybe you're covering up more or some shit like I don't know like it just feels like you're you're in hiding but it feels like your body's in hiding not your not your mind you know what I mean like you still have the thoughts that you have like you like you're not you know, losing sleep from it or anything. But it's affecting the way that you present yourself to the public, which is very weird. Um, peace and love, but that's kind of weird. Um, let's clarify the nine of, um, the nine of wands, please. I want to clarify the nine of wands. Yeah, there's a tower. It's like... It kind of feels like there's a situation. You need to go report him to your boss. I <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I needed to say that. You need to go report him to your boss. Um, like you, you, you need to tell this motherfucker what's up. Like I feel like you need to not necessarily end the cycle but it's just like I feel like you like you need to go tell that you need to tell that motherfucker off like you need to go tell him off you need to tell him to fuck off or like kick his ass like I don't know like you need to like do something You, you need to go through a tower moment within yourself. Like, you need to, like, maybe, like, I don't know, like. I feel like you need to kill your ego. I don't think this has to do anything with ego work. And if it does, you know, cool. If it doesn't, I don't know. But, like, this feels like an ego problem. Like, I feel like you yourself know yourself and you know your worth and you know all of that. But because someone else told you something different, now you feel like you need to 
show that in in, in the how you act outside of you like like you it's not that you care about what people think or what people say but it isn't like it's a lingering thing it's lingering like you don't care you really don't care about what people think and what people say but there is like a lingering feeling there and it shows in how you act after something like this like and i feel like the way that you act is by is by changing is by changing you like, look how many different personalities this bitch is. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're changing your personality. And, like, your sense of you and your sense of self when you're around certain people. And you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have multiple yous for different people. Like, unless it's, like, something to protect yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, babe, are you, are you trans and you can't come out, babe? Oh, babe, I'm going to cry. I'm going to fucking cry. I'm literally tearing up. Um, this might not resonate with a lot of you, but I feel like some of you are going through a transition and you can't. And so you feel very lost within yourself because you know who you are. You know who you are, but you can't show that off to someone. You can't show that to the world. And so you're hiding it. Oh, babe. I, f I feel like, I feel like you guys are, it's, not to sound like corny, but it, 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 it's giving heavy, like, just know that if you hide, it doesn't go away. Like, it feels like that. And that's not me telling you to come out or anything. Like, obviously do things on your own time, on your own, like, like when you can. But I feel like it would propel you towards a healthier sense of self if you were to just, you know, like just let it take you type thing. And it's one of those things where I feel like it's not necessarily that you're scared. It's not that you're scared. It's just that you're just afraid of what others might think of you. And that's not going to change anything. Like, you're still going to go about what you do. But there is still that sense of ego where, where there's still a part of you that kind of cares about what people think of you. Like, you're still going to do it, but you kind of care a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It definitely, it definitely feels like you're... You're going through something like that. Um, damn, babe. Yeah, that's what I'm that's all I'm getting from this. Um I want to see if there's any uh advice cards from your um guides. So let's see if your guides have any advice for you when it comes to this. Um Yeah, I am getting heavy vibes like that. And it even makes sense on the Queen of Beasts because it's like, it feels like sh like they are one with themselves, but there's still a part of them that can't be, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, like maybe, like maybe you're hiding behind a certain label, but that's not your actual label. Your actual label is, is only what you know, you know? Yeah, it just, it really feels like something like that. Okay. Let's see if there's any advice from your guides. What to do about this. 
Okay. Oh my god. That I'm not gonna count that. Okay. Any messages for pile two? Oh. We have do not enter. Okay. Don't take that for what it is just yet. Okay, let's get the other messages first. Any messages for pile two? We got proceed with caution. I need you. There's a sense of There's a sense of safety that I'm not feeling. I feel like the reason why this has been eating you up is because you're not safe right now, perhaps. Or maybe you feel like... It also feels like you're procrastinating in a way. Because you know that this is the answer, but you're just afraid to do it. And you want to do it very, it kind of feels like you're, I, I don't know why I keep feeling like this is a, like this is a gender issue, but that's all I'm really getting right now. Like I'm not really getting anything else but that at the moment. And it, and it kind of, and like that, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like it just, it really feels like you're hiding behind a label that's not you currently but you're only doing that because that's like the safest option for you right now or what you believe is the safest option for you right now like it's giving very heavy like it's easier to be non-binary than it is to be trans vibes you know what I mean like it's kind of like like it's giving me that feeling that like everyone in the LGBT goes through where it's like oh it's easier if I'm a lesbian rather than if I'm bisexual because people don't understand that bisexuality you know what I mean like it's, you know what I mean? Like, people don't understand bisexuality, but people understand lesbianism. So, like, I'm a lesbian. But in reality, you're bisexual. Or it kind of, like, same thing with this, but with gender, where it's like, I feel like there's a part of you that's like, oh, people can handle me being non-binary easier than if I were to fully transition. Like, I don't want to fully transition. That's scary. Or it's like, I can be, like, a um, masculine lesbian and not actually be, you know... A trans man but what you don't understand is that that's what you want though like you you want to be a trans man or you want to be a trans woman you don't have to hide behind another label to 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 almost fulfill your your happiness like you you, you can just fulfill your happiness for you don't care about what other people think I feel like you really care heavily on what other people think um may I please get some more messages slash guide messages Love me back. Yeah, babe. Like, I feel like... I don't know. Like, you just don't... You gotta... I don't know. It. I'm... It's really sad what... Like, I don't know. Love yourself, you know? Like, it... it sounds corny, but, like, you gotta love yourself. And I feel like right now you're you're doing yourself a, a like an injustice. Like you're not you're 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 not you know like I don't know. It doesn't feel like you're being you. And and I feel like maybe the fuckhead that's not letting you be you is yourself. And that's really sad. And I'm sorry about that. It. Even without, like, it being, like, a, without it being, like, a, a, a gender issue, I feel like it's even just a sense of self issue where it's, like, I feel like you yourself are not letting you yourself be you, you know? Um, and that can be with anything. Like, it could be, like, maybe you want to be a scientist, but instead you're doing this other thing. Or maybe you want to be an artist, and instead you're doing this other thing. Or maybe you want to be goth, but instead you're doing this. You're, like, you know. Or maybe you want to, like, maybe you want to freaking be someone that fucking goes around nature, but, like, you live in a crowd that's, like, around the city or some shit. I don't fucking know. But I feel feel like it's just like you don't value yourself to the point where you can be you to you and those around you um 
And it's not even value yourself. It's just that you just feel like you don't... No, yeah, you don't value you. Like, it's like you don't have a sense of value for yourself. Like, you don't feel like you deserve to be you. <laughs> like, like, it almost feels like you feel like you don't deserve that. Um, like, you think not less of yourself, but it's just why do I get to do that? I don't want to be able to, like, why do I, why, why do I get that, that pleasure, you know, like, it, it, it almost feels like there's, like, a, there's other people out there that deserve to go through this, and not me, you know, like, other people deserve to be, like, let them be able to be happy, like, I'm happy they're happy, but it's okay if I'm not, and that's not a good way to live your life, like, you should be happy as well, it shouldn't just be, you know, outsiders that should be happy it should be you that's happy um you should be content with you let's see any more messages from the guides two more messages please i want two more party cards okay y'all didn't have to be booty heads like that I'm sorry for what I did to you. Um, this one keeps popping up. This also popped up in pile one. Um, and so it did love me back. So, you know, if, if you felt drawn to pile one, I guess you can go watch that one as well. But it definitely, it definitely feels like this is a you fighting yourself. Like, I, I feel like you are fighting with yourself. Um, it could be another person. I feel like in some situations it could be another person that's making you go through this, but it also genuinely just feels like it's you that doesn't have a good sense of self. My family likes you. See, like, it's just, <sighs> it just feels like you're hiding when there's no necessity, like necessity for it. And I feel like you'll soon learn that there's no necessity for the hiding that you're currently doing. Um, but it feels like you're currently hiding. Um, okay, let's get some uh, word associations for you. I just want to get some word association for you. And then we'll do the last message cards and then that will be your reading, y'all, okay? Okay, we're going to go for purple, please. I would like the purple option to come up for the cards. May I please get a purple card for pile two? May I please get a purple card for pile two? Okay. I'll have these all be purple cards. Play. Big. Book. Fish. Um, okay, and, um, and then, um, it, mm, it sounds like you want to play by the book, but what you don't understand is that there's bigger fish to fry. Like, like you, like you don't have to play by the book. Girl, the world is your oyster. The world is your ocean. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You don't have to play by the book. You don't have to play by the book. I feel like you feel like you need to play by the book, and you don't have to play by the book. May I please get uh, miss, uh, word association cards in blue for pile two, please? May I please get blue cards for pile two? Any messages you have for pile two in blue, please? May I please... Whoop. it any association cards in blue may I please get some word association cards for pile two blue word association cards for pile two and then these two so same Okay. You need to become one with you. And you gotta sing that shit out. And you gotta stop playing by the book. 
And you just gotta, you gotta fucking be free, man. You have to fucking be free. I, there's a huge feeling of letting go and being free. And like, just like not letting shit like affect you. You know what I mean? Like, like you, you gotta fucking, you have to fucking do what you want to do for you. And I feel like right now you're not doing what you want to do for you. And that's bad. And you, you got to do what you want to do for you. Do what's right for you. I'm getting a really big, like, do what's right for you. Do what's right for you. Like, I'm just getting that, like, over and over in my head. Like, just do what's right for you, my guy. Like, yeah, babe. You got to do what's, what makes you happy. Yeah, you got to do what's right for you. Okay. Now let's get the last message cards from your guides. Let's see what your guides um, advise you to do. What they would like for you to do. Maybe things to think about. Word association. Whatever it may be. Um, any messages. Any last messages for Pi 2, please. Any last messages for pile two? Any last? Oh, and then also fish. Like mermaid. Oh my god, babe. I'm gonna have to put a warning for pile two because I don't I don't want you guys to get outed to your family if you guys are watching this at home. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a a um a a like warning for pile two because this is I like, I, I truly believe that you are, are going to be going through a transition, baby, or, or you want to, or, or something, because you even got fish, and fish has to do with transitioning, because I know mermaids are a big symbol in the transitioning community, and for you to get fish, it kind of feels, kind of feel, oh my god, ah, obviously, if you're not in a safe situation, don't do anything rash, but just know you can still be yourself in other places. You can hide at home, but you can be yourself in other places. You, 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 can, you can hide yourself when you're at home, you know, for your safety and stuff. But that doesn't mean you need to hide yourself from the world, okay? And, and, and I truly believe that. You don't have to hide yourself from the world. You can hide yourself from your family and from your parents. Even then, it's still kind of fucked and you should still be able to be happy in how it is that you want to be. But if it's not safe for you, then hide yourself from that. But be yourself outside on the real world. But it almost feels like your family wouldn't be mad at you. And I know that sounds bad to say. Obviously, like, if you know your family, you know your family more than any and than I would. Duh. But it, 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 with the, with the My Family Likes You card, it kind of feels like they'll love you no matter what, you know? Like, I don't know. Obviously, take your best judgment, but just know, baby, I'm here. Okay, I'm here if you need to talk. Like, it, it really feels like this is what you're going through. Or some of you in the collective are going through. Others are just kind of going through, like you know clothing situations or like career situations like they're not you know in the career field that they want to be in or they're not you know they're not dressing how they want to dress or acting how they want to act but for some of you it feels like it's you're just not you're not presenting yourself how you want to present yourself because you you want to present yourself as you you know and right now you're not you right now and that's and it's not that necessarily it's okay, but it's just that, like, it, it's, you know, you'll get there. Like, you'll be able to get there. Like, it's it's not the, it's not the end yet. Like, you, you will get there, and I feel like it's, you know, to sound cliche, it does start with you. And it's, and I feel like you're in a safe space. Like, I feel like you, you have the ability, the capacity to do this. Like, I feel like it's not something that's out of reach. 
that might not resonate with some, obviously, but I feel like with a lot of you, it's not out of reach, and I feel like it's there's a possibility for this, and I feel like you can do it. Okay, any last messages for pile two? Ooh. Twin flame, five, 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 mirror. I also got, <laughs> I hate when they fall on the fucking floor, man. <laughs> I also got miss you. Maybe 555 is significant to you. I don't know. I think 555 actually does signify change, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though, but obviously look it up for yourself to get the true meanings. I have, I love the idea of you. Babe. Then you got 777. Great song by Joji as well. Okay. Any last messages for pile two? I have nightmares about you. See, that actually makes sense for when it comes to um, this card right here. Because this is the nightmare card. I, it does feel like maybe you just have a fear of, like I said, of, of being your true self. And that and that's completely fine. Um, it's It just, it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't feel like you are unaware of this you know what I mean like I feel like you're fully aware of it and you're and like you you yourself are happy with yourself being that way it's just you're like I said you're afraid of what others might think um it's it's I feel like it definitely is an ego issue one more last message for Miss Pyle 2 you're pretty yeah babes you're pretty you gotta do what you gotta do you know what I mean like you're hot as fuck you know what I'm saying like you're hot as fuck babe just just do it, you know, do what makes you happy, go with what makes you happy and, and just be happy with yourself. Go look in the fucking mirror, you know, go, ha go, get go fucking get a good long ass look in the mirror and fucking cry. Like you just need to have a moment to cry. Yeah, I, f I feel like you just need to cry. Maybe, maybe it's because you, you had a D, not D transition, but you had to like hide maybe because of COVID. Maybe you came back from college and so then it, it, it kind of is one of those things maybe. It, I'm getting that as well where it just kind of feels like maybe, I feel like you have to hide at home for some reason. Like it's home where you're hiding. You're not really hiding anywhere else. It's just home where you're hiding. Like that's the feeling that I'm getting. But it, it kind of feels like you haven't been able to be yourself because of your surroundings. I, I feel like maybe you know who you are. Maybe it really is just that. Maybe it really is that you know for a fact who it is that you are. It's just that because of the current circumstances that you are in, you are not able to express that side of yourself. And that's what's making you very sad right now. Um, but I feel like if you were to just bring it up, I feel like it would make a beautiful shift for you to be able to be yourself more. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Look up those numbers. Maybe those numbers mean something to you. Maybe they have a significance for you. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I hope you really liked your reading. And I wish you the best. And I I, I just wish you the best, babes. I wish you the best, okay? I, I love you. Message me on Instagram if you need help or guidance or advice or whatever. Like, if, if you just need to hear. Like, if you just need someone to talk to. If you just need an ear to, you know, listen or whatever. Like, don't be afraid to message me if you have any problems, okay? I love you. You're amazing. Go do you. Go be you, babe. It's it's the least you can do for yourself, okay? I love you. Okay. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye. Okay, pile three. Hi, you guys. Okay. So you guys picked the King of Colts. Um, that is the uh, pentacles. Okay. You guys got the king of pentacles, um, which is the slowest moving. I know that. Uh, I know that from, uh, other, watching other tarot readings. Um, but from what I'm getting from this, it kind of feels like you're a big brained bitch, you know, uh, like it feels like you're a big brained bitch. Um, also kind of feels like you have testicles on the top of your head type thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe you're a ball sack. I don't know. I feel like you're an asshole. Why do I feel like you're a ball head? Like, you're, like, you're, you don't give me good vibes, my guy. I'm sorry. Um, peace and love. Um, <laughs> peace and love. Um, it, 
it kind of feels like maybe you're chasing something, someone, maybe you're chasing after someone that's the king of cults. Like they're rich, but they're dicks, you know? I don't know. I'm getting a sense of, like, I'm getting a feeling of going after someone or something that is not beneficial towards you. Um, that's like the vibe that I'm getting from that card. But let's get into your tarot. Let's see what it is that you are currently going through. I want to know what pile three is currently going through and what it is that they're situation is you know what I'm saying I want to know what pile three situation currently is what is pile three currently going through pile three what are you currently going through oh my god I don't know how these readings get so long y'all I'm already at hour 10 but it's okay because I love doing this okay King of power 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 three <laughs> pile three what is currently going on with Pile 3? What does Pile 3 need advice on? What do the spirit guides want to make aware to Pile 3? What does Pile 3 need to know? What is currently going on with Pile 3? Pile 3, Pile 3... Okay. Oh, God. She wants to be upside down. Um, yeah, girl. Just like I said in the beginning of the fucking reading, it feels like you're after someone that you shouldn't be after. Uh, <laughs> trying to find happiness somewhere where you shouldn't find, where you shouldn't be looking for it, it feels like. Yeah, girl. I feel like you, yeah, girl. Oh my God, babe, babe. I don't know if you should, you know, I don't know. Let's see. Can I please have another card for pile three? Any advice? What's going on with pile three? What should pile three be aware of? Oh, girl, babe, 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 stop going after this man. Stop going after this man. Um, they're poor. We're just going to make that very clear. I got that. It, this, that was the message I immediately got when this bitch came out upside down. They're fucking poor. Um, I feel like they're selling you. Oh my God. It's like a cult. Okay. I feel like they're selling you the idea of like an amazing beautiful sexy relationship with like money and like power and just like happiness and like general like fulfillment but there's no pattern of that in the actual relationship in the actual commitment ship there is no pattern of that there's no happiness there's no ah, there's no like see even the fucking even this bitch wants to fucking tumble over um like, there's no happiness. There's no, like, like, there's no, like, sexual chemistry. Like, like you don't actually see a future with this motherfucker. Like, like, there's just, like, there's no growth happening. There's no fulfillment happening. There's no, gen like, genuine fulfillment happening. I feel like they're all talk talk, but there's no walk the walk. You know what I mean? Like... It feels like there's no actual, like, proof that this is going to be a good relationship. Like, they haven't shown it to you at all. Like, they, they haven't, they haven't shown it. Girl, actions speak louder than words, bitch. Oh my god. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Like, girl, why are you even getting your cards read, babe? What is wrong with you? Like, peace and love. But, like, like, like your guide's gonna make it any more clear to you that this is not the right thing to get into. Um, like, it's just not the right thing 
yeah girl no yeah girl no like oh my god i feel like you're stuck in an unhappy relationship right now because you're afraid to let go of it because of the shoulda coulda woulda like i feel like you're like you're afraid that maybe there's like a potential here for something better but what you don't understand is that there's not like they're not gonna go they're not gonna want to go through any of the growth any of the hardships any of anything like that to be able to make this be like an actual genuine commitment ship that is like worth your fucking time and your while like like girl girl no baby 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 you gotta you gotta fucking you gotta be on my on on my on my on my wavelength here okay break up with him leave them dump them leave this don't be in this um get the fuck over with like you're so you're so like you yeah girl no like you oh my god like they don't want to they don't even want to take credibility for any of the shit that's going on bro like they don't even want to take the credibility for it like like girl no ah. i feel like i'm getting two very heavy messages one you're currently stuck in something and you don't feel happy in it currently because you know they promised you the world and the world is not fucking here you know what i mean like i feel like there's that coming through but another thing that's coming through is that you are not content with where you're currently headed in your own path and you feel like like you just wish you had a romantic partnership to make your life better um and it kind of feels like that too but it, it, I'm mainly getting that there's a bitch that's stuck in something and she does not want to be stuck in it. Or she does want to be stuck in it, but she shouldn't be stuck in it. Like, just because you want to be in this does not mean that you should be, you know? It doesn't mean that this val like this adds any value to you and to your growth and, and to your spiritual journey. Like, this adds nothing for you. This motherfucker can't even pay at the dinner table, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, girl. Like, you're with a pleb. Like, you're with a fucking pleb. Like, and you're not even getting, like, sexually fulfilled. Like, you're fucking so, like, sad in the sack, too. And it's just, like, and, like, there's no, like, hap like, there's, like, you don't see a future with this fucker. Like, you, but, like, you're still gonna stay for some reason, though. Like, you still wanna stay. Like, even though you don't see a future or prosperity with them, you still wanna stay suck stupid on them for some reason. And I don't understand why. Maybe their dicky dicky is biggy wiggy, but clearly not because you're not even sexually fulfilled. Like, you're not even fulfilled in that way. So it's just, like, why are you staying? Because if they have money, it doesn't feel like they spend it on you. So it's, like, so like what is it why are you staying i want to know why you're staying i'm gonna i'm gonna pull out some more tarot cards because i want to know why you're staying why is this person staying oh why is this person staying i want to know why is this person staying girl blackmail shut the fuck up no stop why is this person staying oh <gasps> blackmail no stop you're not being blackmailed are you being blackmailed <gasps> stop it stop it stop it stop it stop 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 the, why is that the only message that i'm getting in my head right now stop it no oh my god girl stop <gasps> oh my god are you getting blackmailed girl you know you can go to girl i'm not saying go to the authorities but i'm just saying whatever what ever they are they're looming something over your head that's oh my god i feel like they're looming something over your head whatever it is that they are looming over you cannot be worth getting married to the person oh my god i felt like a weird feeling when i said that it is worth getting married to the person oh my god you Are you getting blackmailed? Why do I feel like you're getting blackmailed?
I'm also getting like arranged marriage feelings. Or like manipulator vibes. Like I'm getting a sense of like like this motherfucker's a cult leader. Like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> like they're not, but like but, like, this motherfucker has some some form of power. But you, you, you... This motherfucker has some, some form of power. It kind of feels like... It's another situation where it's like you have to do things that you don't want to do. And I don't know if that means marry the person but it feels like marry the person and I don't know if that's what I want to tell you because you're not happy you're not fulfilled in it but the blackmail like or some like they they're looming something over you like there's something that makes you feel like you can't leave yet or you already married them Ooh, did you already marry them? Is this divorce? Do oh my god, dude, did you are you in a marriage that you don't want to be in? Bitch. You do realize divorce is harder, right, girl? Like a breakup is easier than divorce. Why did you think marrying this person? <laughs> Bitch. You married this person when you didn't want to marry them? Girl, get a divorce. Like, what is wrong with you? You better get assets, babes. You better get assets. Be you better, like... They better have not signed a freaking, you know, a, a prenup, girl. Because... Oh, they signed the prenup. Oh, my God. So you're not going to get anything out of this. You're just going to lose everything? Baby. This, to me, sounds like it was... God himself, the universe themselves being like, baby, you fucked up. You didn't listen to us. And so here's this. Get a divorce. What are you doing? Like, I feel like you dug yourself a hole so fucking deep. And now you just have to deal with the consequences or get a divorce. And what you don't realize is that you getting divorced is also you dealing with the consequences. But like, I don't know why you thought this would be easier to do in a marriage. Like, I feel like you really thought the marriage was going to help it. or fix it or something you better not are you pregnant girl girl baby why did you think marriage would make this better you're not you don't love the dude And he doesn't even have money. He lied to you. He doesn't even have money. He doesn't even have money. So if you think about it, if you go through the divorce, what, what, what are you even going to be fucking losing? I mean, they don't even have money. Like, they're, they don't even have money. Like, I could be so wrong. Like, I swear to God, I bet I'm so wrong in these readings. But, like... Like, because it just feels so far-fetched. <laughs> like, it just feels so far-fetched that I feel like I'm wrong. But at the same time, like, that's all. Like, I feel like you got into a situation ship and now you're kind of stuck in that bitch. And what you don't understand is that you need to leave it. Like, you got to get a divorce. You have to get a divorce. Like, you got to leave. You got to leave. You're not happy. You're not feeling any happiness in this. Like, there's no happiness coming from this. But you also can't leave for something. Like, I feel like sketchiness is coming over here. There's something sketchy going on over here, okay? This is juicy. Like, there's something sketchy. Like, You could always have an affair, girl. I mean, 
I'm not saying infidelity is the answer, but I'm just saying, like, if you can't leave, you could always fucking have an affair. Like, if... Why do I feel like you're locked the fuck up? Like, why do I feel like... I don't know why, but I feel like you don't have a way of escaping. Like, in... If that's the case, I don't know how the fuck you're even watching this to begin with because I don't even know how the hell it is you have a phone, but like, you feel trapped. You feel very, very trapped. I feel like you feel incredibly trapped and I feel like you know the answer to this, but you don't, you don't even want to fucking think about it, but you're trapped. Like you're a hundred percent trapped, but only you know how to get out of it because I don't, I wouldn't know how to tell you how to get out of it. I feel like it's a, but like you need to get out of this only you know how to get out of this but you need to get the fuck out of this because this motherfucker lied to you he lied to you he lied straight through his motherfucking teeth he lied through his crooked ass pointy ass teeth he fucking lied to you and only you know how to get out of it But you just don't want to accept it. But like only you know what it is that you have to do to be able to get the fuck out of this. And you just don't want to accept that. Yeah, I don't know you. Like, girl, like come on. Like, what did you do? Like, why do I feel like you got married really, really, really fucking soon after you met this person? Like, why do I feel like this is just like dumbness like I feel like like and I say that with love like I don't know why I'm not saying you're at fault I don't think that's that that's the case but I just think this was just not a good call on either party and only you know how to get out only you know how to leave only you know what it is you have to do to be able to get the fuck out of this may I please have some message cards for pile three May I please have some message cards for pile three? May I please have some message cards for pile three? Let's sesh together. Oh, we got no, 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 no. Okay. I feel like you're still learning about this per you're in my dreams. Don't pressure me. I feel like It could also be that you guys are in a disconnect for some reason. I don't know me. Yeah, it feels like maybe this situation is a disconnect maybe. Oh my god, is this a disconnected girl? Are you still waiting for someone and they haven't shown the fuck up and you just don't know how to move on from it yet? Is that what this is? You're holding on to a you are holding on to a connection. Yeah, you're holding on to a no contact connection. Like, you're holding on to a connection that is not going to fucking go anywhere. And you know it's not going to go anywhere. And you know you're not going to be happy in it. And you know that, like, it's just not going to benefit you in any way. But for some reason, you're still holding on to it. And why do I feel like you guys are potheads? Like, you, like you guys, like... Like, you're holding on to a connection that does not serve you at all. And the only reason you're holding on to it is because you, you like, like... You like the idea of them. You love the idea of them, but the actual them is not good. Like, the actual them is not right. And yet, for some reason, you are just not letting go. Like, I truly do believe that there's a feeling in you that's like, they could get better, though. They could be better, though. Uh, he could change. I feel like he could change. Like, no, girl. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. I need to know. I need to know if, like... Oh my god, may I please get a letter association for pile three in their situation ship? May I please get a letter association for pile three? 
Like they haven't even sh like they haven't shown you any of the things that they promised. They haven't shown you any of the things that you have wished that they've done. Like they are there's no growth, no like nothing in this. There's nothing. Like you are not gaining anything from this. All you're gaining is a fucking headache. Like you're getting a headache and like also your throat hurts like like you're fucking like I feel like you're talking a lot like I feel like you scream at this person like I don't know what like I don't know maybe not scream but I feel like you you show your upset to them and it's it's you're wasting your breath that's what it is you're wasting your fucking breath like you you and you know that and you know that you're wasting your breath I feel like you have a knowing that you're wasting your breath but yet you're still fucking doing it and, like, what you need to do is that you need to break up with this person. <laughs> like, you need to break up with this person. You need to not be their friend anymore. You need to, like, not see them anymore. Like, you need to break up with this person. Stop being friends with this person. I Stop, stop, stop being friends with this person. I don't know. May I please have a, uh, may I please have an initial for pile three? May I please have an initial for pile three? May I please have an initial for pile three? May I please get an initial for pile three? Oh my god, I'm sweating. Low key. May I please? Okay. We got an H for hat. Okay. Can the hat type shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, and then may I please get an, an one last initial for pile three? May I please get another initial for pile three yeah. oh my god we got c for cat oh my god what the fuck okay it's a can of hat motherfucker. He really is a can of hat motherfucker. He's wishing, he's fucking promising you shit and he's not giving you that shit. Oh my God. You, girl, stop dealing with this goofy ass motherfucker. <laughs> stop dealing with this goofy ass motherfucker. You are dealing with a goofster. A can of hat motherfucker. You're dealing with a goofster. And you gotta stop dealing with this motherfucker. You have to stop dealing with this motherfucker. I, like, girl, no. No, like, no, no, he, he is the cat in the hat girl. He is not, he is not a king of pentacles. He is not a king of money. He is, he is the cat in the hat. He is simply a, 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 a goofy ass motherfucker. You girl, stop, stop, dude, stop, fucking stop. No. Oh my God, dude, stop, stop. Oh my God, this is so too, this is too much. Okay. May I please have some word associations? for pile three may i please have some word associations for pile three um and can they be purple may i please have purple word associations for pile three 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 oh oh my god can and we'll take green all right may I please have word associations for pile three this time blue. May I please have blue word associations for pile three. May I please have blue word associations for pile three. We also got cat in purple, but we're going to go with the so in blue. But we did get cat in purple. And then may I please have blue word associations for pile three. Blue word associations for pile three. Oh my god, uh, freaking, uh, what's his face? Not so green. Um, why am I forgetting that guy's name? Um, what's his name? Dave is not so green. Greg is not so green. 
uh, something is not so green. I, I don't remember his YouTube channel, but, he, but that reminds me of that. Um, not so green can. Um, it kind of, again, it, it feels, this is giving me the vibes of it's not what it appears to be. Like, they, I feel like they painted themselves at this, as this, like, god. But in reality, they're just, they're just a cat in the hat. Like, they're just, they're just a pussy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how else to say it, but it just feels like they sold you this, like, false sense of self. And you believed it. And now, as you're in it, you realize, like, oh, shit, it's not like that. But for some reason, but, like, you are kind of also, like... It's not that you fell in love with the dumb part of him because you really didn't because you really don't like him because, like, you had all the love cards literally upside down. But it's like, but you also don't want to be that bitch. I feel like that's literally what it is. It's just that you don't want to be that bitch. You don't want to be the bitch that that leaves this person because then it's like, it's like, oh, like, you couldn't just love them for them. Like, I feel like it's, like, on some morality issue. Like, I don't know why. But also it's like, but you were lied to, though. Like, you weren't given what you were promised. So I feel like you have the right to leave if you want to leave. You know? I don't know. Let me see. Last mess uh, last final messages that you have for Pile 3, please. Any last final messages that you may have for Pile 3? Any last final messages that you may have for Pile 3? Any last final messages that you may have for all three? Oh my god. I'll take this one. Oh my god. Is this kind of hat bitch your soulmate? Oh my god, but you don't like that because they're poor. That's literally what it is. You're just not happy that they're poor. You don't like that they're poor. You were like, you wish me money and you didn't give me that. And so now it's making everything else bad. I feel like you might like this person low key, but you just don't like that they're... No, you don't like this person. Even when I said that, I didn't believe it when it came out my mouth. You just don't really like this person. Go on without me, girl. Yeah, you just don't... Like, maybe you thought they were your soulmate... Yeah, I don't know you, you don't know me. Like, it just feels, it feels like, I hate how you smell. Like, there's just so much hatred. Like, you just don't like this person. Just leave them, babe. <laughs> or like, or maybe you have a crush on someone. But, like, I don't know. Like, they don't like you or something, bro. Because, like, I don't know. We got another less session together. Yeah, like, babe. Are you, like, with a deadbeat right now? Stop being with the deadbeat. Why are you with a deadbeat? Like, just fucking leave. Like, what? Girl. Oh my god. Any final messages you have for pile three? This is too much for me. It really is on some self-destructive shit. Like, I'm really getting, like, I could fix him vibes. Got 666. Girl. It's not you. It's me. Yeah. I feel like there's, like, vibes of, like, I could fix him. Like, I could make him better. And it's just, like, girl, like, no, you can't fix the cat in the hat. Like, the cat in the hat doesn't give a fuck what you think about him. Like, he will continue being the deadbeat that he's gonna be. You know what I mean? Like, it's the cat in the hat, bro. Like, no. He causes havoc. He, he wreaks havoc on people's lives. Like, that, like, this is not a good thing. Look up also the meaning of sick. Like, you know. But, like, this is not a good... Like, you're not happy in this. Are you with them just because they have weed, girl? Are they a plug? Be dead ass with me. Are they a plug and that's why you're staying but you don't like this motherfucker? You do realize that this is not helping your growth, right? Like, I know free weed is great or whatever and I get sexy, it's nice. But, like, you're not getting shit from this relationship except for that fucking free weed. Because you don't even fucking like how they smell, bro. Like, just leave. Just fucking leave. You're very clearly not happy in this. Leave. Like, just leave, girl. Go on without me. Leave. Like, no. 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 You cannot fix them. 
there are it's not that they're unfixable but like you cannot fix them like that's not that's not something you can do my guy it really is on some like fuck my shit up like it's just like you go to the barber and you tell him like just fuck my shit up like that's what you want like you it's not what you want or maybe it is i don't know but like it's what you're currently doing you're in an unfulfilling relationship because I feel like they're looming the weed over you. I feel like that's the blackmail. It's that they have weed and you're like, fuck. I'm not going to have the abundance of weed that I once did if I leave this connection. And, like, that is the stupidest fucking thing to keep you in a connection, girl. Stop it. Or maybe you fucking smell drugs or something. But, like, whatever it may be, like, you know... You are really staying for the weed, aren't you, bitch? Oh, my God. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, my God. Go watch one of my smoke sessions. Get the hell out of here. I swear to God. Y'all are too much. Girl, leave it if, if you're not gaining anything from it. Just steal some pot before you leave and call it a day. How about that? Just steal some pot before you leave and call it a day. Because, like, you're not happy in this, so don't stay in it. Like, just don't stay in it. Like steal weed and and go just steal weed and run away <laughs> like i don't know like steal weed and go somewhere like i don't know go on without me girl like y'all don't know each other like y'all like no no like just end it 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 end it, end it. End it. End it. End it. it's over it's done it's done no please Oh my god, green. Girl, weed. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, bitch. Stop. Stop. This needs to stop. This needs to end. Y'all are doing too much. No. Stop. We get it. We love weed in this house, but no, girl. Like, you're not getting anything from the relationship. Just, no. Stop. Stop. I love you, but stop. Um, this is your reading. I don't even know what the fuck to say, but, um... I love you and I hope you guys uh, like this reading. Also, I am also getting that maybe you just don't like that they, that, that maybe they don't like that you smell like weed all the time or maybe it's vice versa. Oh my God, do they not like that you smoke weed? If that's the thing, then that's stupid and you need to leave them again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is a lot. If someone can't handle you smoking weed, then it's not a good relationship to begin with because like, what the fuck? You're a prude, you know? But anyways, that's all I really have for you, uh, pile three. Just leave the relationship if you're not happy. And if this is the only thing that's, that's like, keeping you guys together slash and or keeping you guys apart, like, in the sense of, like, maybe they don't like that you smoke and you want to smoke with them. Like, if that's what it is that's keeping you guys, like, so dead in your relationship, then maybe the relationship is not good to begin with. You know what I mean? Like, come on. But, yeah, I don't know. No. Just end it, babes. Just end it. I love you. Hello, pile four. You guys are my last pile of the day. Um, so pile four, you guys picked the 10 of Colts, which is the 10 of wands. Um, this card feels like you are slowly letting go of the mask that you're wearing right now. Um, it feels like you're very slowly, very, very slowly, like trying to show the real you. Um, there's still a part of you that feels like you need to hide, uh, as I see the eye patch on the eye. Um, I feel like there's a sense of like maybe fear of vulnerability. Like maybe you just don't want to show yourself uh, fully out of fear that people will not be able to accept you for who you are and how you are. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling like a sense of like vulnerability, like afraid to show vulnerability, but you're slowly coming to that part of yourself like you're slowly showing vulnerability more and more as the days go on type thing but you are doing it at your own pace um now let's see let's see what your what your tarot has to say to you um okay let's see may i please get uh what what what, what am i asking for um May I please get any and all information that I can about pile three? What do they need help on? What do they need advice on? What do their spirits need to make aware to them? May I please get any and all advice for pile three? 
please, may I please get advice for our pile three? What's going on with this pile three? Or I mean, pile four, sorry. May I please get any and all advice for pile four? I'm so sorry. May I please get any and all advice for pile four? What's going on with pile four? Uh, maybe go watch pile three. Maybe pile three will resonate with you. I am turning on the fan girl because it is really hot in this tent. Hopefully it doesn't blow my cards away. There you go. Okay. What is going on with pile four? Any and all advice for pile four. Any and all advice for pile four. What's currently going on with pile four? Your guides want to make clear to you, pile four. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, pile four. What is currently going on with pile four? Uh, it jumped, but it didn't flip, so I'm not going to accept it. What is currently going on with pile four? Hmm. What is currently going on with pile four? Oh. Okay. So. It feels like I said, it feels like you're coming to your own power slowly. I feel like you're starting to unmask yourself more and more, but there's still a fear within yourself when it comes to like, like what might, what partners may believe, or maybe, I don't actually, I feel like you feel currently unlovable, maybe. Like there's a side of you that feels a bit unlovable, which is why you keep hiding behind a mask. And you feel like lost. You just feel very lost in how it is you even want to present yourself. Like you don't even know Like you're, you don't know, you don't feel comfortable considering yourself like the man, you know? Like, I don't know if you feel fully big dog, big nuts. Like, I don't know if you feel that way. Um, I feel like you present yourself that way, but there is a part of you that's very afraid. Like, I feel like you don't actually... Like, you don't actually have the guts that you present yourself to have, you know? Um, you're actually very scared and fearful of outcomes and what things may, like, how things may happen. Um, you are generally happy, but it's just you're lying to people. Like because of the mask that you've put on, you're, you've been lying to people of who it is that you truly are. Um, yeah, I feel like you feel weaker than what you look. Like, I feel like you feel like you're way weaker than what you actually look and how you present yourself. Um, like, you yourself feel weak, but the way that you present yourself and the way that others perceive you, I feel like they perceive you as the emperor. Like, they do perceive you as someone that is, like, of power, but you yourself don't consider yourself that. You you feel like you're a little more gay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, like, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, not gay as in, like, a sexuality, but, like, or maybe, but, like, I feel like, or maybe, actually, but no, but I feel like it, like, 
Like, you're a softy. Like, I feel like you're low-key a softy. But the way that you present yourself is by being, like, a whore. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... I feel, like, inner you... Or you know what? Oh. I feel like on the outside you are you present yourself as attractive and lovable, but on the inside you see yourself as someone that's not. Like you don't feel like you're worthy of a commitment ship. You don't feel like you're worthy of a partnership. You don't feel like you are attractive enough, strong enough you know, you, you don't feel like you have his power. You present yourself like you have his power, but you yourself don't truly believe that. And you yourself also don't truly believe that you're worthy of love. You may say that you are, you may talk the talk and say that you are, but I don't think you yourself truly believe you're worth of love right now. It feels, it feels like a mask is being worn and what your true emotions are. And I feel like you don't show your true emotions to people. You kind of hide and you, you... You say... Not what people want to hear, but what you wish you could hear. It's almost like on some manifestation shit in the sense of like... If I say that I'm like this, then maybe I'll become this. You know? Like, I'm really getting that feeling from you where it's like, maybe if I say that I'm lovable and that, like, I'm sexy and that, like, I'm, like, you know, like, the best man ever, maybe then I'll become that man, you know? But in reality, it's like you just, you have a lot of self-doubt and you have a lot of, like, insecurities with yourself. Let me clarify the emperor for you guys real quick. Oop. I saw that. The devil popped out. I saw that. Yeah, like you're stuck to this notion. Oh, you feel like you can't be vulnerable. Is that what it is? Because... You feel stuck. You feel really stuck. What do you feel stuck in? Let me see. Hold up. Let me clarify the... Um, this is the eight, right? Yeah, girl. <gasps> Let me clarify the eight of swords real quick. Oh. Huh. I feel like... I feel like these insecurities don't have merit. Um... Let me see. Page of Cups, please. May I please get a clarifier for the Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups upside down? May I please get a clarifier for the Page of Cups? May I please get a clarifier? Take the one in the back. Okay. I keep getting temperance. Temperance keeps popping out in these readings. Okay. Yeah, babe. Huh. You have no reason to think this way. And yet you think this way. Like you feel like you're unworthy of love. You feel very insecure in yourself. Like you feel weak in a way. You don't present yourself that way. But you feel like that in some way. or you feel like you have to be the leader when literally no one told you you had to do that like no one asked that from you like I'm getting a very big like like savior complex like I like I'm getting very very big savior complex vibes 
like you feel like you need to be the one to help everyone and like do all this shit or whatever but like no one fucking asks you to do that and also I think you're kind of a dick when it comes to it too like because of all the good things you do for people you feel like you need to be seen as the emperor but what you don't understand is that you do things for people because you want to not because you expect something from them and I feel like you think people don't give back to you but like no one asks you to do the things that you've done you know what I mean like I feel like Like, I'm getting, I'm getting narcissist vibes. Like, I don't want to say that. I, I don't, I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to assume that. But, like, I'm getting vibes of, like, well, if I don't do it, no one else will. But it's, like, but haven't you ever thought that maybe they don't want it done? Or, like, maybe they'll just rather wait for it to be done on their own terms? Like, I feel like you're kind of fucking with someone's free will in a way by doing the things that you're doing. Like, you want, you want an equal give and take. And I feel like there is an equal give and take. But since it's not up to your standards, you're just not happy about it. Because there, there is a balance. Like, there's a balance in this. But I feel like you feel like you're entitled to more or, like... I don't know like you feel kind of like pretentious in a way like I feel like you think you're better than everyone else but you're also fucking insecure so it's just kind of like mm, what like there's like a perplexion there like it's it's a bit confusing because you feel like you deserve all these things But at the same time, you're unhappy with yourself. That's very weird. I feel like you're unhappy with where you're going right now. And you're kind of mad for not... Or maybe... Sorry, y'all. The port, the fourth pile. I'm, I'm already getting like kind of tired and, and thirsty and whatnot. And um, and I'm just, I'm very confused by these cards because it's like, I really want to clarify more. Like, what, what is the deal here? it just I'm feeling blocked for some reason and maybe this is how you guys feel as well like I feel like maybe you guys feel like you have blessings that are being blocked but what you don't understand is that like you're already getting all the blessings you can get that's what it is you you feel like you're blocked from shit but there's nothing more for the universe to give you right now. Like, you have everything. Like, that, yeah. I feel like you're being ungrateful in a way. Like, or you just expected for more to come out of this. Like, I feel like... Like, you have everything you could possibly want, but you still want more. Like, you have a relationship or, like, a friendship. I feel like you have a really good friendship. And they're telling you not to worry about the relationship right now. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Or maybe that friendship is the relationship. I feel like you... I feel like you want them to give you your soulmate. But what you don't understand is that your soulmate is your friend. 
Your soulmate is your friend. You want a soulmate so bad, but they're your friend. And I feel like you keep asking and begging and wishing for them to send you a love interest. And what you don't understand is that they already did. But you're... I feel like there's a lot of worry there. Like, maybe you don't believe that it's them. That's your soulmate, you know? Like, you don't want to accept that. You don't want to believe that. And so you keep wishing for other people to come into your life. And you keep wishing for other connections and other, you know, other, other, just other people to come in. You, you want a different person to come in, but that person already came in. You're just too afraid to do that with them. And you feel stuck in a way. Because you don't want to, I feel like your fear is that you don't want to ruin the friendship. But I don't, I don't know if you would ruin the friendship. But also at the same time, it's not healthy for you to hold on to these possible feelings, you know, if they're there. And, and I mean, if they don't reciprocate those feelings, then, then you can start wishing for another person to come through. You know what I mean? But you're wishing for a person to come through when there's already a person through and you just still ha you just haven't checked to see if there's a if there's a possibility with them. Like you haven't touched base with them, like you haven't at, like you haven't you haven't made it aware to them that that you fuck with them like that. Like you haven't made it aware to them that you would be down for a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? Like like you I feel like you think that that situation like I feel like you're assuming shit like I feel like there's assumptions like I feel like it's like oh well like there's just like you know like they haven't done xyz so I doubt that they'd want a relationship with me but it's like you never even brought it the fuck up so like how would they even know you know what I mean like how would they even know that you like them if you haven't even brought it up I'm getting major like victim vibes like you feel like you're a victim in something like maybe like not a victim but I feel like you no yeah like a victim like I feel like you're like oh like the universe never gives me anything that I want like they never give me what I want like I, I always have to fucking you know go above and beyond for them to even like possibly give me what I want and it's like they're giving you what you want it's just a ch like it's like like the song that popped in my head is true love will find you in the end by Daniel Johnson it's giving those vibes like how do you expect for love to come and find you if you're not even going out yourself to go and look for it like I feel like maybe you're like a homebody or maybe like you're always staying at home like you're not going out with friends like maybe you're not going out with that chick that popped up at one point like I don't know like I feel like you're just you yourself are, are holding yourself back from a possible love connection and it's because of all the fears and worries and not knowing where it might go and like you're just afraid of what could come out of it but but that's the beauty of it is that you don't know what's going to come out of it and that's the beauty that that's that's the beauty of life is to not know you know <laughs> but it really is like that's the beauty of it is 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 taking life by the balls and just going for it like you just got to go for it like and if they break your heart, they break your heart and that's something new that happened to you. You know what I mean? Like, like you have to think of the experiences as, as being experiences because that's what they are. You're just very afraid of the experience, but you need to go through the experience. And I don't know. You're, you're afraid of moving on, I feel like. Or you're, you're afraid of... You're afraid... Of you're just af you're just afraid of like doing things outside out, out outside of yourself, I guess. Like I feel like you think you have a like a like a like a repertoire. Like a, I feel like you have like a like a, a reputation to uphold, but you can still hold that reputation and be a feminine bitch you know what I mean like you can still uphold the reputation of the emperor but still be loving kind and submissive like the empress you know what I mean like you can be both babe 
you don't have to just be one you don't have to just be top dog you can also be a kind sweet you know loving caring cherishing you know a uh, coddling type of person like you can still do that you 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 can you can be the hopeless romantic while also being you know the dude bro you can be both you can be both you can do both yeah i don't know i just feel like you're afraid of something for some reason like you're afraid of an outcome or something like you're just afraid of what might happen like you you don't want to know what the answer is like you're scared but you'd be so much happier if you just continue like if you just did you i feel like i want to see i want to get some messages from your people let's see guides send me some messages for pile four please please send me some messages for pile four pile four messages What messages do we have for pile four? What messages do the guides have for pile four? Hold me. Oh, yeah. I feel like you're afraid to show your vulnerable side to your partner. Um, we fucked up. I feel like you're afraid to show your vulnerable side. I can't stop talking about you. I just, I feel like... You don't want to show your person that you're actually vulnerable for them. Like, I feel like there's a fear of vulnerability here. And that's like what's holding you back in your connection is it's that you're not being vulnerable. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, like you're just afraid of vulnerability. Um, I think also maybe you're afraid to be the bigger man and apologize. I don't know why, but I feel like you need to apologize for something. Um, and you're just not willing to apologize or you're, you're afraid to apologize or you're afraid you're going to come off as weak if you apologize. Love me back. These don't feel like they're for you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm feeling a sense of vulnerability is not there and you're afraid to be vulnerable and you're afraid to show your true emotions and you're afraid to like essentially tell her how you feel and how it is that you you feel for her like you feel committed and you feel loving and you feel you know what i mean you feel prosperous with them but like there's something holding you back from telling them that like i feel like you're afraid to tell them that you're afraid to tell them that you like like them like i don't know why but i feel like you you feel like you need to hide yourself from that but you guys are like practically together and you're afraid to tell them that you fuck with them like that that's really weird my guy like dude that's that's some goofy ass behavior like you should tell her or you should tell him but you should tell her there definitely is a sense of 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 uh, like i'm not allowed to do that like that's not my role I'm not allowed to do that. But you are allowed to do that. Everyone is allowed to feel the emotions that they feel. Like, you're allowed to feel your emotions. If you feel like you're in love with this bitch, then tell them that. You know what I mean? Like, don't hide that from them. Maybe you just haven't said I loved you yet. Or maybe they haven't said I loved you yet. And that's what's making you feel scared. Maybe that happened. There is definitely, like, a feeling of, like, a, just a fear of vulnerability, I feel like. Or maybe you were vulnerable and then it, 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 and you didn't like the outcome and so now, now you don't want to be vulnerable anymore. But you, you, what you don't understand is that just because one person didn't take it right doesn't mean the next one isn't. You know what I mean? Like, people are different. Everyone is different. Like, just because you had a bad experience with one person doesn't mean you'll have that same bad experience with this person. Like... You, you, you gotta show your vulnerability to your partner. Your, I feel like your partner wants you to show your vulnerability. And you're just not showing it. And I feel like you need to show it. May I please get blue message cards for pile four? May I please get blue message cards for pile four? May I please get blue 
words for pile four? I don't know. Can I please get blue words for pile four? Blue words for pile four. That have to do with the situation. Blue words for pile four. Oh, we got blue and purple, but up, sit up. Yeah, girl. Any blue message cards for pile four, please? Blue message cards. No. Okay. No sit up. Ah, someone I think stopped you from being vulnerable at one point and so that's what makes you not want to be vulnerable anymore I'm getting a feeling of like someone stopped you from being able to cry your eyes out and so now you feel like you can't do that with this person and that's not right you you have every right to to, to want to show your emotion your past relationships are not your current relationships and you need to understand that her here yeah you had an ex that didn't let you do didn't let you show your emotions may I please have Bert, uh, uh, may I please have purple words for pile three may I please have purple words for pile three and we got green again um yeah I Like, she's here, so now I need to be, I need to be a tough man. Like, the green light is that once she's there, you gotta, you gotta sit up. And that's not right. That's not okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hide your emotions from your partner. You're wearing a mask when you do that. If you want, like, you gotta tell them how you feel. If you're feeling unhappy, you gotta tell them that. If you're feeling happy, you gotta tell them that. Like, because also your partner won't know if they're even fulfilling the things that they need to fulfill. Cause you're you're not you're not being vocal with them. I feel like you're not speaking up to them. You're not you're not telling them like you're not touching base. You know what I mean? Like you're not talking to them, like at all. Like I don't know why, but I feel like you're not talking to them. Um, I think it was pile three that also had a green in theirs. Um, I don't know if they're connected. Uh, part of me feels like they are, but another part of me feels like they're not. I feel like pile three only resonates with some other people. Um, so if you were drawn to pile three, I would recommend go watching that one as well. But I don't know, Pile 4. I feel like you need to you need to speak up to your partner. I feel like you need to open up and tell them how you feel and tell them, like, tell them what's up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you don't really tell them what's up, bro. Like, you gotta tell them what's up. Okay. Any last message cards for Pile 4 before we leave? Any last messages for Pile 4 before I leave? Any last messages for Pile 4, please? Any last messages? pile four any last things for miss pile four any last messages we got your pretty oh I don't love you wait what oh my god did they break your heart babe I'm so sorry if they broke your heart. Any last messages for Pile 4? I see you in my dreams. We also got that one for Pile 3. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go watch Pile 3 if you, if, you sh if you want to. I hate the way you smell. And we also got Soulmate. Oh my god, this is also what Pile 3 got. I would definitely recommend go watching Pile 3. You also got two peas in a pod. And you have 999. I feel like if pile three and four are connected, I feel like the situation is, is that since you're not being vocal with your partner, your partner is starting to fall out of love with you. And what you need to understand is that vulnerability is very, very important in a commitment ship. And you need to show your vulnerability in a commitment ship when it's necessary. And also when it's not necessary sometimes. Um, you need to make it clear to your partner that you 
appreciate them and cherish them and love them and want the best for them because I feel like I feel like your current situation yeah do you love me yes or no like like I feel like they're they're unclear and also maybe change your cologne I feel like maybe you stink my guy peace and love or maybe change your deodorant but I keep getting the I hate how you smell and I don't know if you hate how they smell or they hate how you smell but I feel like your partner does not like how you smell I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, I feel like, I feel, and this honestly might connect with pile three, and I feel like, I feel like if pile three was also drawing you in, I feel like that's how your partner sees you, or vice versa, um, or how you see your partner, no, I feel like it's how your partner sees you. I feel like you guys are connected, and I feel like, I feel like maybe you, like, I, what I said in pile three is that like you promised her a bunch of shit or you promised them a bunch of shit and you're not showing them that shit and so now they're falling out of love with you. And now I'm starting to think that it's not that you promised them shit. It's that you aren't communicative. Like, like I feel like maybe you mentioned that you wanted to do all those things, but then you don't show like the emotional side of yourself to do those things you understand what i'm saying like i feel like you're you're just hiding a part of you and you got to show it because they love you they, they really do love you and they're stuck stupid on you um but you need to be you mean you need to become aware with the fact that you're not like you're not doing enough and i think it's because you're hiding behind a mask and you need to stop doing that you, you really need to show your partner who it is that you truly are because I don't think they really know if you like them or not. I'm starting to think that they don't really know. Um, and because of that, they're starting to fall out of love with you. Um, so you really got to be vulnerable, my guy. You got to be vulnerable. Um, those are all the messages I'm getting for you. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed your reading and I hope it resonated. If not, you can always go pick another card or, you know, watch a different video. But um, I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.